Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zabab Kaushik and in this video, I'll be talking about how to pass AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Examination. So, I have given this exam on May 24, 2022 and it will expire on 2027. Great. So in this video, I will show you what are the resources that I have followed. You can also follow that resource. And I will also show you some uh, free resources that you can follow, right? So earlier I have created one short when I passed this exam. So that short got around uh, 147k views. So in this uh, short also many people have commented like uh, which resources you have followed and what is the roadmap that we can follow to pass this exam. So here's the video. So first I will show you the resources that I have followed. So I have followed Stefan Merrick course on Udemy. You can see this is around 15 hours of course. And I have also followed his practice test, which is which contains around 390 questions, uh, which is more than enough to pass the actual exam. Uh, this is paid. If you don't want to pay, you want uh, free. Then there's a video on YouTube. You can just search uh, free .org, or you can just search AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. You will get this video. Uh, you can see uh, this video is by Andrew Brown. He's a very good teacher and this video is around 14 hours of course, which is similar to the Stefan Marek course uh, in terms of time. This is also a very good course and this is free of cost if you want to follow this. Then comes a practice test. There's also a YouTube video uh, which you can follow. This is from Tech with Shaping Pixel channel. This contains around 1300 questions for a cloud practitioner, which is like more than enough. You only need around 200 to 300 questions to actually pass the exam. So these two free resources you can follow. And if we talk about the actual exam, so this is the page of uh, Cloud Practitioner. You can see uh, this uh, Cloud Practitioner Validate is foundational level, high level understanding of AWS Cloud and terminology. This is a good starting point on the AWS. So this is a very basic certificate on AWS Cloud, which will teach you basics of cloud computing and basics of AWS. Don't expect much after clearing this certification because many people have messaged me on LinkedIn and on Instagram also that, hey, I have a completed cloud practitioner. Can I get a project or can I get a job? Uh, no, you won't be getting any job after clearing this certification. This is just a basic starting point in your cloud journey. So if we move towards the actual uh, exam guide, yeah, this contains around four domains. One is the cloud concepts, which will show you basics of cloud computing, basics of uh, AWS, right? Then you have the security and compliance, where, you, uh, where this course will teach you about the security services in, in AWS, uh, like Security Hub, Inspector, Macy, Config, etc. Then cloud technology and services. This will teach you services like EC2, S3, Lambda, but on a very basic level, on a very surface level, you, you will get questions like, I want to build a compute platform on AWS, which service should I use? So EC2 is the right answer. Then you have the billing and pricing and support. This consists of 12%, but this is a very important section. You will get a lot of questions on uh, AWS billing, like uh, a billing calculator or cost and usage report. And you will get, uh, I also get a little confused while solving this, uh, this section because uh, the answer looks very similar but uh, you have to pick one uh, out of four. So please uh, uh, focus on this section, right? So these are the four sections that are necessary to pass your uh, exam. Then if uh, all goes well, after passing the certification, you will get a badge like this, which you can post it on LinkedIn or your Instagram. Uh, so yeah, and I've also followed this some AWS cheat sheet so for uh, some services, it would be very difficult to remember, right? Because you have to uh, cram a lot of stuff. So this is AWS cheat sheet from uh, digital cloud training. Uh, you can see, you can browse the cheat sheet by AWS certification. So for example, they have for AI practitioner, for cloud practitioner, solutions architect. For this exam, we will choose cloud practitioner. And you can see they have uh, relevant uh, cheat sheets. So uh, basically this contains important pointers which you can follow. Uh, for example, AWS analytics, then logging and monitoring, then content delivery services, then shared responsibility model. 
this is a very important section for you shared responsibility model then you have the storage then cloud computing concepts things like this it will uh, give you knowledge of aws services on a surface level so that you can remember it and hopefully uh, give the correct answer on uh, actual exam so these are some of the resources that i have followed which you can also follow and pass the certification and get this badge so i have also given you the free uh, free courses and the paid one uh, it depends on you whichever you want to follow and this is my first video on the series i am creating of how to pass all these aws certification i have created one video already which is aws certified ai practitioner this is for a cloud practitioner next i will create on uh, solutions architect associate so stay tuned and uh, uh, make sure to subscribe the channel thank you so much